Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd really be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button down there. All right, we are currently traveling across the United States. We are headed to North Carolina, park hopping along the way. We're driving a couple hundred miles every day and then we're finding a campsite in a state or nationally operated campground. We're currently set up in Village Creek State Park, Arkansas. And I gotta tell you, this is one beautiful park. I mean, just look at this campsite that we're in. How cool is that? You don't need to see me. There's Yappy and the Ratty Pack. Anyway, we're done here. We are packing up first thing early. First light, we're loading up, we're hitting the road and we're going to Montgomery Bell State Park, Tennessee. We're having to divert around the bridge in Memphis because, well, that shut down. Traffic is a horrendous mess. And so we're gonna drive up through into Missouri and then back down. That's how we ended up going to Montgomery Bell. So come along with us. Let's go check out Montgomery Bell State Park. Montgomery Bell State Park, Tennessee. We finally arrived. Took us a little longer than normal. We had to loop up and around because the bridge is closed. I-40 is closed. Anyway, let's get to a site review. Site number 118. This is tight. This is really tight. Site number 118. There's, there's Yabby getting ready to do some laundry. It is a full connection site and it's really level. So there, there are some pluses going for this site. It's, it was, it was a little tricky getting in and you can see this guy's having some challenges because this whole campground is just really tight. Gravel base. So we put down our pads to be safe. We're doing some laundry since we've got full connections. Here's one of the big pluses, we're right on the creek. This is like four mile creek or something. Not gonna be here long enough to really truly enjoy that. So. It's a one nighter for us. Fire ring, cooking and burning wood, a wooden picnic table. And that's our dryer. I carry it in the back of the truck. Plenty of shade. But man, we are, we're tight in here. <laughs> that's a lot tighter than I like to be. All right, 
So I'm gonna hop in a little in, in white lightning and we're gonna go see some stuff. While this guy's getting settled into his spot. So let's go see some stuff. Montgomery Bell State Park. This is a really big place. Uh, I don't have a map and I'm kind of turned around, I guess. Anyway, there are a number of these day use picnic areas scattered throughout this park. This park is so big, the hills are so steep, and the people drive so fast. I will not be deploying Little Red. I'll be doing a, a driving tour with White Lightning. So I'm trying to find some stuff. <laughs> Stay tuned. Well, I found what appears to be a swim area. We down at the bottom of this hill and uh, this pedestrian walkway. It's not very... <laughs> It's not scootable. It's so steep down here at the bottom. It's a little red. It's just gonna have to stay in the back of the truck. According to the sign up at the parking area, there's self-serve paddleboard or paddle boat and kayak rentals. So after after hanging out down here and burning all your energy swimming, then you gotta, then you gotta climb back up this big hill. That's a long way down. I'm not sure I want to go all the way down because I have to come back up. All right, that gives us a good overview. And there's boat rentals on this end. All right, so I don't have to walk all the way down there. Let's go find some more stuff. Montgomery Bell State Park has a lodge and conference center. Apparently there's a restaurant here as well. <laughs> it's a little more elaborate than the uh, Texas State Parks that I've been to. That's pretty. Let's see if we can go wander around. The lady at the front gate told me that I could buy a park magnet out this way somewhere. What again? A magnet for the park. I don't have any magnets, I thought I got stickers. Sticker doesn't do me any good for the magnet collection. That's all right. Thank you anyway. So it's just a hotel. Not gonna, not gonna give you any video of hotels because I'm dude RV. <laughs> All right, let's go see what else we can find. So the Franklin Bell State Park in Tennessee actually has villas. They're not cabins, they're villas. A great big outdoor fireplace. See, can you see in there? I don't know if you can see in there or not, but it looks like it's like two bedrooms on either side. And the, the, the conference center is like right over there, that big hotel. And the villas, I think, are part of the, the hotel, the lodge, as they call it. All right, let's go see some more stuff. It was very interesting. So the Civilian Conservation Corps did the construction 
of the Montgomery Belt. And it initially was purchased by the, the National Park Service. Uh, it was under unusable land and it had been over, the timber had been cut down and there were, it was just basically a mess. And so the, the, the CCC was brought in to reclaim it and turn it into recreational land. So there's a memorial set up to the, for the CCC here in the in the Montgomery Bell. I'm at the at the park headquarters. And that that would explain a lot as to why it kind of had the national park feel with with the lodge and just the vastness of the, the whole place. Uh, apparently this beautiful land was once not quite so beautiful so now there's a lot more of this for people to take advantage of now that's that's a hiking trail and I still need to get some some virtual tour footage going for you so let's go see some stuff. So Lake Woodhaven has a spillway. The dam was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps. You see we've got a great ADA pathway here. Wow. Now that by itself might be reason enough to come pay a visit. Woodhaven Lake. I guess we can walk a little bit more. That's just so peaceful. Now that's really nice. That appears to be an ADA path. Definitely wish I was gonna be here from two nights. Montgomery Bell State Park, Woodhaven Lake. All right, let's go find some more stuff. A couple of the locals back at the, the spillway told me that I really needed to check out the church. And I get over here and I find that it's actually pretty, pretty large area. I to break out a little red. So that's the end of the road. What do we have? This old log house, replica of the home of the Reverend Samuel McDowell, where he, together with Reverend Finnis Ewing and Reverend Samuel King, founded the Cumberland Presbyterian Church, 1810. Old log cabin. There's a lot of there are a lot of hiking trails. Lots of hiking trails. All right, let's let's go see. Let's go see some more stuff. So the Cumberland Presbyterian Church, founded 1810. This is the chapel. Not sure how well it's going to come across because of the light. There's no light in here. Just stained glass. Very pretty. Very pretty. They still hold services here every Sunday as well. <laughs> All right. Let's go see some more stuff. Montgomery Bell State Park has a softball, has a ball field. And today, Monday, June 29, Monday. Great ball game going right now. Men's softball. 
And there's actually a food truck. Selling burgers and hot dogs. That's, that's adjacent to the RV camping area it's called Four Mile Creek Campground. And as you can see, there's playground with swings, a play structure, and a volleyball net. Wow, they even have another group pavilion right here. I've seen kids playing in the Four Mile Creek over here. Let's just take a ride through the camping area. I did it in the, the virtual drive, but it's kind of hard to tell, you know, from that. I'll just, I'll just put the camera in the holster and we'll check it out. Very level handicap pull through sights. not a whole lot of pull throughs now this back up in, in this part of the loop these are mostly tent sites it looks really tight because it is <laughs> but i i drove down this this way with trudy pulling the truck so it's it's entirely possible and, and there's at least one 40-foot Class A here today. kind of do a loop-de-loo around so you can see what the sights look like. These sights over here are better than the ones that we're in. These are going to have a little bit more room. We're back over here to the left. These sides are tight. Almost back to my camp. We've almost covered all of the Four Mile Creek camping area. So 
I'll run down to that last intersection and turn around and come back. Pretty well covers it. These are all full connection here on the right as well. They back up to the creek. More to come. Montgomery Bell State Park, Tennessee. Such a pretty park. So we'll be back on the road in the morning. I'm going to close it out now so that I can decompress and prepare for tomorrow. Montgomery Bell State Park in summary. Beautiful park. Not so much a cool RV place though. Cool RV campground. Uh, everything is just like crammed together as an afterthought. Uh, I mean, this is a prime example. It's, it's like being in a private campground. I got full connections and I got a, a, a neighbor's RV in my front yard. But I do have a picturesque creek and beautiful trees and lots of shade. So, you know, it's a great waypoint stop. Just be prepared when you get here that it's a, it's a bit of a challenge to get into your site. But definitely want to pay a visit to, if you're traveling east and west on I-40, might want to stop into Montgomery Bell State Park. All right, if this is your first visit to Dude RV and you stuck with me through this, to this point, thank you. I'd appreciate it if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, <laughs> well, that's why I get to go to these cool places and see all these cool things. That's why I do what I do. Thank you. And for my patrons, y'all rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?